Hey, I found a corpse. I think it's one of your people. We appreciate you letting us know. Thank you. Oh, so you're one of the faceless. Will you let me speak to the mother? You think she would speak with a stranger? No, but you are on the right path if you wish to join our ranks. Be patient. What's your name? Kyle Crane. You have a long road ahead of you, Kyle Crane. Do not stray from it. And may this help you in your struggle. That's all we have to say to you for now. You can leave now, newcomer. Huh. It's Jazeera, who drew this? Oh, that's not important. The kid keeps drawing them. I keep throwing them away. Well, but what's it about? Something the kid's hung up on. His mother took a job in Haran before the outbreak. Left him with his grandparents. She was supposed to send him a gift, I guess. But you know what happened. It doesn't matter. Just toss it. So this whole time, the kid's been waiting on a present? Christ. Sad, I know. But the sooner he gets used to being sad, the better. Jazeera. Those bandits who took over Erkan's farm. Aren't you afraid they're gonna target you guys next? Here we can handle them, but we're no soldiers. I won't send people to die out there. Well, your set of skills might come in handy in this situation. Just talk to Eski. She'll explain the kind of scum you'll be dealing with. And maybe try to find Polat too. He used to work at Erkan's farm. Maybe he'll have something useful to tell you.
Hey, so you know, Jazir, who's this Sabat? He was supposed to get you guys some medicine? Yes, yes, he was. He was bringing us fresh herbs every single week. But we haven't heard from him for too long now. I know he's probably dead, but we can't be sure. You don't know the man. He wanted to become one of the Faceless. He wouldn't let himself get killed easily. Well, any idea where I should look for him, then? And what about those fevers? You still need some herbs, right? He lived in a hut out on that rocky island. And yes, he always kept medicine there. Just be careful. If something's got to sap it, it's no laughing matter. Just here, I gotta ask. Why the hell do you want bolter livers? Those damn filthy bolters. They keep desecrating the graves of our beloved. They eat the corpses we've laid out for the wind to take. Okay, but the livers? For heaven's sake, don't they teach you anything in the city? It's about the smell. You can use it to attract more of the same kind. It's the thremo, thesmo. The pheromones. Yes, that's what I said. Or could you use it to scare them off? And that's what I wanted to say. You learn fast, boy. Okay, so these bolters are attracted to fresh bodies you, what, leave for the wind? Yes. If you see a bolter, just run it over with your car, okay? That'd be much appreciated. And remember about the livers. Polar, I'm thinking about heading to Erkan's farm. You're crazy, mister. That's suicide. Hey, let me be the judge of that. Besides, the bandits might target this place next. Let them fucking try. After what they did to that girl, there won't be no mercy. Well, if you feel that way, then why wait? Why not take revenge right now? Don't get all high and mighty with me, mister. We are angry, true, but we are not crazy. You want to get yourself killed? I think I can handle some thugs with guns. I heard you might be able to help me. Jazir said you worked at that farm? Work there I did, true. If you really do want to go there, follow the wall and go east of the entrance. There's a hole in that high wall. You could probably use it to sneak in. Come and listen to my story, mister. Yeah, I'm all ears. It's a beautiful story about pride, prejudice, war, and peace. It starts in the olden days when people still were honest and true. And there were... <sighs> Eski, I've... Oh. That's, uh... That's Erkan's daughter, right? No. That's not her. That's what's left of her. She was the happiest person I'd ever known, but now... I'm sorry, but... She's, uh... Conscious, right? Conscious, yes. But the longer she lies there, the more I feel like she just doesn't want to live anymore. When she was still speaking, she told me they hurt her. And her mother. They shot her brother in the face, Kyle. Made her watch. All right, I'll take care of it. They won't hurt anyone else. Yeah, of course. 
Sorry. I just think I've heard it too many times before. Kid, I gotta drop by the post office so I could uh, check and see if your package is there. Do you know what's inside? A present? From Mommy? She wrote and said she was sending me a surprise present. She's coming back after I get it too. And she can play with me again. I just want to help. Then we are allies now. But it's not enough. Hey, I don't understand. Wait! Perhaps we owe you an apology, Kyle. You help us, and you still do not entirely trust your intentions. Understand it might be hard to expect someone to praise the matter without seeing the sign. I've got nothing to hide. Okay, my intentions are pure. I'm here to help. Make your way to the lake known as the Eye of the Sun. Bow down before the mother, and you shall receive her blessing. We invite you to meet with us, Kyle. Hey! We got company! somewhere around here. What's going on?
Erkan! Just kill me. Why? How could they? Er Erkan, is that you? Coward. Kill me! Hey, Erkan! What could I do? Hey, you're safe, man. Get a grip. Your daughter's alive. Shoot me, please. I want to join them. Erkan, your daughter is alive. She's at Jazir's farm. She needs you. Coward. For fuck's sake. Jazir, are you there? Look, I don't know how this happened, but Erkan is alive. He's a wreck, though. Erkan's alive? And you really did get rid of those bandits? Listen, he doesn't know me, and I, I can't get through to him. He's in deep shock. Look, the farm's clear, so, I don't know, maybe you could ask your guys to bring him back? Of course, of course. We'll take care of it. Thank you. Just as I promised. The bandits are no threat now. Thank you. 
You did more for her than anyone else in this godforsaken place. Look, Eski, I... I've seen a lot. The only thing I can tell you is eventually it... it will start to hurt a little less. Don't patronize me, Kyle. You think she's the only friend I've lost since the outbreak? It's terrible. I'm getting so numb it almost doesn't hurt anymore. At least this one will get her father back. Erkan's alive. They'll bring him here. Oh? He survived? Well, I guess she'd have been a little bit happier if only she'd heard that. Though... Though what? N nothing much. Just a, a thought. I just wonder why before she told me what happened to everyone else, but didn't say a word about him. <laughs>